You look like you swallowed a lemon whole. Did Finch finally manage to pilfer all your lucky charms? Lemons? More like a whole barrel of sour grapes. He's snatched everything, even Mrs. Peabody's lucky thimble, the one rumored to conjure the perfect French knot. This is like watching a hummingbird hoard butterflies, frustratingly whimsical and utterly infuriating. Sorry, Nana. But maybe this is a sign. This dusty old shop, it's seen its heyday. Let go of the needle and thread, hang up the apron. You deserve to paint the sunsets, not fight fabric feuds. Rest? Me? With stories bubbling in my veins, dreams begging to be stitched into life? This shop, it's woven into my being, tighter than the threads in these quilts. Besides, who else will keep Finch in line? A mischievous glint twinkles in her eyes. He wouldn't last five minutes without my legendary prune crumble as collateral. All right, all right, you stubborn firecracker. You win. But if Thimps tries to hawk a single seek win, I'm unleashing Grandma's secret weapon, Aunt Edna's pickled onions. Even the bravest thief waltz under their pungent power. Now that's a weapon I wouldn't mind deploying. But tell me, Mr. Musician, what's with the sound stage you've got there? Got a stadium gig lined up? Maybe. A small one, just for some friends. You see, I, um, wrote a song. About this place, about you. Figured it's time I shared it. Oh, Max. You always find a way to needle your way right into my heart. Let's hear it then. Let the music and the stories intertwine, dance hand in hand. And there you have it, folks. The Silver Seam, your gateway to sartorial splendor, your haven of haute couture audacity. Mr. Finch, you're a maestro of fabric and spectacle. Your vision is intoxicating. I'm Violet, by the way, and I have dreams bigger than these bolts of silk. Dreams, you say? Tell me, Miss Violet, do your dreams come in thread counts and color palettes? They sing in textures, dance with patterns, and whisper stories through every fold. I want to tell stories with fabric, Mr. Finch. Stories that make hearts race and eyes widen. Ah, a kindred spirit. An apprentice sorceress of the seam, perhaps? Tell you what, Miss Violet, come back tomorrow. Show me your magic, your needle and thread alchemy. If it sparks this old finch, there might just be a corner of the silver seam waiting for your vibrant touch. You. You mean it? An internship? I wouldn't disappoint, Mr. Finch. My needle sings when it finds the right canvas. We shall see, we shall see. But be warned, my canvas can be a fickle beast. It demands audacity, not timidity. Are you ready for that, Miss Violet? So, Miss Violet, show me what your threads crave. Don't be shy, let your imagination unleash its fury. Don't let the praise lull you, Violet. Every stitch demands growth, every thread thirsts for innovation. Remember, audacity is a muscle, and yours needs a constant workout. Don't worry, Mr. Finch, my imagination's on a sugar rush. You just keep throwing fabric monsters my way, and I'll slay them with every stitch. Wow, Nana, you still got it. These designs are incredible. Just a few whispers from the threads, that's all it takes. But Finch, that man has no soul in his needles. He buys trends, not stories. What is this? It's... amazing. Like rock and roll stitched into fabric. A dream from my youth, never finished. But maybe, maybe it's yours to complete. What if we incorporate recycled materials? Make it eco-friendly and unique. I like where your mind's going, dear. And the stitching pattern, reminiscent of old concert posters. And you've given me an opportunity of a lifetime, Nana Ellie. Well, well. What do we have here? As trends, Finch. Stories stitched into every fabric.
Mr. Finch, this design, it doesn't feel you. Perhaps some personality? Personality? This is what sells, Miss Green. Modern, sleek, not some grandma's attic aesthetic. Mr. Finch, meet Max. He is something different. Hi, Mr. Finch. I've been working on a new concept that might add a touch of personality to our designs. See, Ellie loves vintage fashion, and I thought, what if we incorporate some classic elements into our modern designs? It could create a unique blend. Vintage? Miss Green, is this some kind of joke? No joke. Mr. Finch, Max has a point. Blend the old with the new, and you might just create something groundbreaking. Fine, let's see what you've got. See, Mr. Finch? This is a statement. It's fresh, yet it carries a sense of history. I suppose it's worth exploring. But can it sell? Absolutely. People want something unique, not just another carbon copy. You were right. This adds character, personality. It's a game changer. Sometimes, Mr. Finch, breaking away from the norm is the key to success. That was. Wow. I mean, wow. Max, it's alive. It breathes. It dances. It. Well, it makes socks look cool. I told you. Max isn't just socks, Finch. He's a statement. A middle finger to boring beige and predictable patterns. Max is here to say, look at me. I'm different. I'm bold, and I'm exactly what you didn't know you needed in your drawer. But what now? I mean, you defied mom's expectations, stunned the audience, and... Well, made socks the hottest thing in Huntington. But where do you go from here? Beyond Huntington, Finch. Beyond these four walls. Max isn't just a local rebellion, he's a revolution. We're taking him online, to every screen, every foot across the globe. We're showing the world that conformity is a dying trend, and that individuality is the new black, or, in Max's case, neon rainbow. Wow. You really are fearless, aren't you? Going up against corporate giants with one dancing sock is your weapon. Don't underestimate the power of a sock, Finch. Especially when with personality. Besides, I'm not alone. I have you. Well, in that case, let's paint the world neon. Show them what happens when dreams and rebellion collide. Max on every foot, every billboard, every... Oh. Incoming storm front. Don't worry. I know how to handle thunder clouds. You did good, Violet. Really good. You just committed career suicide. Mom's furious, the investors are pulling out, and you're officially persona non grata in the fashion world. That's what you think. Max wasn't just a presentation, Amanda. It was a declaration. And declarations have a way of reaching unexpected ears. See? One phone call, one dancing sock, and suddenly the vultures are circling. Max is a golden goose, Amanda. And guess who owns the farm? You. You can't do this. Mom will never forgive you. Oh, honey, Mom will learn to love Max. He has a way of warming hearts, even the coldest ones. And if she doesn't, well, then we'll show her the power of grassroots support. We'll build an empire for Max out of likes and shares, and good old-fashioned enthusiasm. Ready to paint the world neon, V? More than ready, Finch. Let's show them what happens when dreams take flight. Now, tell me everything. How'd the presentation go? Did Mr. Thornberry drool over your flying cat again? Drool? No. Faint. Maybe. But yeah, it went okay. He loved the flying cat, surprisingly. Apparently, his childhood dream was to sail the skies on a feline cloud. Well, he picked the right storyteller then. Did you tell him about the talking mushroom forest too? Of Course I did. And the singing river, the moon-powered lighthouse. The whole shebang. His eyes were like saucers by the end. He practically begged me to turn it into a book. A book? Really? Max, this could be huge. Your own children's fantasy series, you've always dreamed of that. Well, Nana, it wouldn't have been possible without you. 
You're the one who saw the magic in that scrap of fabric, whispered the first verses of the story. Don't be silly, I just nudged you a little. You're the wordsmith, the dream weaver. I just help you untangle the yarn. Maybe, but you're also the anchor. When my imagination goes off on wild tangents, you reel me back with reality. You remind me of the heart of the story, the thread that binds it all together. And you remind me to let go, to embrace the wildness, the flights of fancy. We balance each other, Max. That's what makes it work. So, does this mean you're in for the long haul? You, me, and the Silver Seam, painting stories onto the world? Where else would I be? We've only just begun to unravel the threads of this tapestry, Max. This workshop is our canvas, and the world is our audience. Get ready to paint it vibrant. Together, Nana. Always together. Speaking of painting, have you decided on the next canvas? I found this incredible fabric with shimmerhood scales, perfect for a mermaid adventure. Here we go again. You and your irresistible fabric finds. Fine, show me. But after that, how about we sketch some character designs on the back of a pizza box? I'm starving for a dragon, and I think pizza might fuel some fire-breathing creativity. Don't get cheeky with the old lady, mister. But yeah, pizza and dragons it is. This is going to be the best adventure yet. <laughs>